The internet is really toxic these days, and ads play a big role in it. I browse online way too often on my phone to suffer through this stuff over and over again, so today I'll show you how to stop ads on Android with the methods that helped me. In case you didn't know, ads are more than a simple annoyance. They slow down your phone and consume extra mobile data by constantly loading in the background. Plus, a lot of advertisements are far from legitimate and contain trackers or malware. Not even the biggest websites like YouTube filter this content out. And that's not even mentioning how intrusive ads are. You already know that all too well. The solution I use to get rid of ads for good is an ad blocker for Android. I discovered that using either total ad block or dedicated ad blocking features in top tier VPNs like NordVPN and Surfshark helped me to get rid of most of the ads on Android. So let's dive in and I'll show you how to use them on your phone starting with Total Adblock. This provider requires a subscription, but thankfully, Total Adblock is very cheap with a discount, which you can get through this QR code or the link in the description. One insider tip for blocking ads on Android is that Google Play doesn't officially allow ad blockers since they hurt the company's revenue. So you'll have to download the .apk file and install it manually. Sometimes Android phones prohibit installation of third-party apps, but this is easily fixed in the settings. Just to be clear, Total Adblock is not unsafe. And the only reason we need to jump through these hoops is Google's greed. So blame them for the inconvenience. Now, once you have the app, open it and click the big red button. To get full ad blocking, you'll now need to let Total Adblock set up a VPN connection so it can detect various ads, trackers, and other online issues and filter them out. Total Adblock will guide you through the process, in which you'll have to download a certificate file and install it. With that done, Total Adblock will finally be working at full capacity. For a quick demo, here's a neat website called canyoublockit.com, which is designed to test ad blockers. And the difference is staggering. With Total Adblock enabled, there is little to no visual clutter left. Now, I've tested Total Adblock a lot on my PC, so I was interested to see how well it would perform with Android in my most commonly used websites. Well, it turns out not being tied to the Google Play infrastructure makes it the best ad blocker Android users could wish for. It blocked ads on all the websites I needed to use, including the very popular website you're currently watching. But don't tell Google. They hate when someone robs them of the ad revenue. Total Adblock also reduces load times for these websites, since ads no longer load. And I notice considerably lower mobile data drain, easily a few gigabytes of difference in just a month. One of the things I love about Total Adblock is the statistics. I can clearly see from the main screen how many trackers and ads were blocked by the app, which gives me an interesting perspective on just how much horrible sh we encounter online every single day. It helps that Total Adblock is really cheap, letting me take advantage of it for a very low price. Of course, it's still an investment, but I'd rather save on mobile data and avoid scams and malware than cheap out on an ad blocker. Besides, there are good deals to grab, like the one you can get through the link in the description. You can find discounts for NordVPN and Surfshark there as well, and that matters because they both come with some of the best ad block features. NordVPN's threat protection is the only malware feature to be independently audited by AV Test and AV Comparatives. It's a certified anti-phishing feature capable of blocking ads, trackers, pop-up notifications, malicious links, and even prevent users from downloading malicious files. An impressive track record. My only issue with it is the recent upgrade to Threat Protection Pro, which can only be used on desktop apps, so I can't quite use it on Android just yet. However, Surfshark doesn't have a limitation like that. It's just as effective on Android as it is on PC. It's a great ad blocker with about the same functionality as Total Adblock or Threat Protection, but with the added benefit of offering unlimited connections. This means one account is enough to set up all your friends or family with reliable Android Adblock. That's pretty nice. So now you have everything you need to block ads on Android. Using any of the three apps I've recommended is going to take care of all the ads, trackers, and other annoying internet trash you come across. Still, I would personally recommend Total Adblock as the most affordable and overall effective solution for how to block ads on Android. Thanks for watching and feel free to check out this video to learn more about cybersecurity apps. I'll also leave the latest provider deals from this video on screen, so click away. Remember to stay safe online and I'll see you soon.